You can also search Google for Creative Commons licensed work, public domain work, etc. Basically, you're just going to do your search as you normally would. I'm going to use puppy because puppies are adorable. And then I'm going to narrow this down and filter it to images. And then I am given the opportunity to use the tools and choose what kind of licensed item I want to use. So, you know, if you click on copyrights, you can see that there are choices here. And I'm going to go for one with modification permitted because that gives me the most freedom. So these come up and, you know, pick something you like. This one's a cutie. This little puppy uh, in a mug. We're going to take that. I'm not going to go right here to the image and take it because there might be licensing that didn't make it through. So go directly to the site. This one has a pretty obvious free download button. If you look down to the right, it does show the license. And this one being CC0 is perfect. That means it's Creative Commons 0 and it's in the public domain. You may see ads where they want you to buy something. It's sort of an incentive for them to make free things available to you. Now that I have the image, I can do what I want with it. Uh, this one doesn't seem like a very high resolution, but for some of my projects, that might be fine. So if you go back to the Google search, let's find something else. Let's stick to puppies because puppies. This one looks pretty good. Uh, he's a cutie. And this one's at Wikimedia Commons, which is a different site uh, that offers a lot of open educational resources, Creative Commons licensed things. This one's cute. I can go to the original file if I like. I can open it in the media viewer. I'm going to click on download so that I'm given all my choices. Scroll, scroll down, excuse me. Uh, you can see the source, the author, the permissions. It shows an image or an icon of the license. There's also a link to the uh, license. But if, again, if you're not sure, you don't have to memorize it. This tells you what your choices are, what you can do with this freely and legally. Legally being the critical part here. So if you right click a little bit higher here, here it is, for the license just open up another tab this will take you again directly to the Creative Commons license and generally when you're giving attribution or whatever you want to link to this license so that other people can be aware and this tells you all the terms it shows you what the restrictions are and what they are but this is used all over the world it's a Creative Commons license and you need to give attribution